Now I'm going to install Zen app on Windows 7 machine. So let's start with the CD. We put the CD DVD on the tree and it's showing up asking me to install. Okay, ask me which option you want to deliver application to end user anywhere. So I'm going to install this. Deliver agent for Windows desktop. Install agent to deliver application and desktop. So we pick up this one. Enable remote access. Graphic process for 3D rendering. So I don't have a 3D rendering graphic card. Going to key. Citrix receiver. This one is the client software basically. Okay, I can install this. Okay, let's put our so delivery controllers. So you need to have a delivery controllers. In our previous video, we have installed that delivery controllers in another server. So let's put the server name in. Test the connectivity. Not connected. Just one second. Test it again. Okay. It's going to okay now. So add Optimizer personal V disk. Enable personal V disk from folder deliver agent. Okay, let's enable this. Use a real time audio for audio. Use port. Remote desktop assistant. Okay. So the default port are listed below. Control. This one is for control. Remote assistant. Real audio. Automatic. Install. Okay, it's completed. It's ask for restart the machine. We'll do a restart. Now this uh, Windows 7 has been restarted. So let's go back to our server. Uh, this is a Citrix Studio server. This one has the delivery control role installed. So I'm going to add another category. So Windows Desktop and OS Remote PC Use the remote access to the PC called Desktop. Okay. Let's do. Random desktop static at desktop so we can so add a computer we have win seven key so add it next win seven win okay we have win 7 category uh, I'm going to try to publish one application to our user so 
going to no uh, delivery group delivery group next so which category are it going to use and choose the number of machine number choose the number of machine for this del delivery group one machine let's deliver application add the user we I have a group called Zen App Canada group okay application so it's uh, okay so let's try a note notepad okay next Notepad okay, finish. Okay, it's got published. So what I'm going to try to see if I can log in to that application. So I'm going to log in to see I can launch that one. Okay, login now. We have one application. Now I'm going to see if I have another application available. Oh, Notepad is here. Okay, add Notepad. So I'm trying to launch it. Oh, cannot start it. Ah, what's wrong? Give me a second. So anyway, I'm hitting the uh, uh, stone here. Not sure what's happening. So I'm going to troubleshoot, maybe I will reveal the answer in another video. So anyway, if you know the reason, let me know as well. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more.